This is your favourite station. Pulse88.co.uk L-D-N-R-B-S. On guys. the weekend. weekend. Guys. Guess who we got in the building, guys? Sam Tonkins. Let's give a clap out here. Uh, We've got about at least 899 people in the room at the moment. Literally, <laughs> the body heat is a million it's right like now. It's like 35 degrees outside right now. My eyebrows Something are going to sweat like, off. It's mad. Brace yourselves. It really is. But we have the immensely, immensely, immensely talented Tonkin, t- Tonkin in the building. Thank you. Talk to us, man. How you uh, feeling? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, happy to be here. Happy Most to be here. definitely. Now, I'm really happy to have you here. I'm not going to lie. I'm fangirling <laughs> inside. I may not show it. Even your voice fangirling. changed there for a second. It went back. <laughs> I'm really happy to Stop have you. Here yeah, right now, like it's mad. Hello, hello. But oh. Sam, we want to talk to you about. We want to go back uh-huh. at how Andy. it started. What inspired you to even start singing? And when did you find out you could sing? Okay, let's go. Let's go from the start. Okay, so this goes back to when I so I'm 21 now. This goes back to when I was about 16. Damn. Um. So it was just after my 16th birthday. And I'd just been given like a little bit of like birthday money to go to Brighton with with my friends. Go, How much was go it? shopping. It's like hundred. How oh, dare we go? Which is when which when you're sixteen, a hundred pounds bro, is like 100. you're rich. <laughs> Jeez, yeah, I was. Yeah. yeah, I was really doing it. Mm-hmm. I was going big, and then I basically spent it all. <laughs> so then, what I did went, you spend it on? But I have no idea now. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea. So then after that, um, I've gone to. I've gone to a, a shop called Route One, which is if you know where Bright- what Brighton's like, they have what's called the lanes, mm. which is what it's like the cooler part of Brighton. It's like where there's like really cool like independent shops. Mm. And I've gone to Route One, which is like a skate shop, and I've seen this hat, and I'm like, yo, I need to get this. I checked my wallet, obviously got nothing in there. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Damn. So my friends were like, oh, you, yeah, you can kind of sing, like you should busk as a joke. And I'm thinking like, you should busk as a joke. Uh, like you should, uh, like they said, they said to me like you should. Bu-, they were like joking. They said you should busk, and I'm yeah. thinking like, actually, I might do that. Like I didn't really have the confidence to do it, but I was like, nah, like no, I'm never gonna see any of these people that walk past me but again. They said you can kind of sing. <laughs> they can, you can kind of sing. <laughs> what well, they hear it? Oh my god! But I mean, well, this is when uh, this is well, this is like 16. So my mm. my my voice my voice has taken a it's, it's like developed a lot. Mm. Like I've learned that because I I ne- because because I didn't really took it seriously, I never really had lessons. Like, yeah. I still haven't had lessons now. Like, really? It's like, yeah. Like, I, I, I realized that I'm pretty glad that that happened because it made made me kind of found my own voice myself. Mm. But then, so, did, so then I did it, and then I like did it for like half an hour, and I made like quite a lot of money. So, what was the step for you? You said you never took lessons. What was That's the steps when you were f- first trying to sing? Because some people like to sort of sing their favorite artists. And sort of imitate their favorite artists, but so, how did you start? So it, it was a lot of imitation. So my older sister Jenny, she like she put me onto like R and B from young. So she Ooh. like she was she was on like she was only a few years older than me, but like she was just really into like like Usher and amazing like but it was all like the old stuff like the was it the My Way album My Way so the My Way oh, album wow. and like throwing it back and like and uh, like the first the self titled Chris Brown album like the hey, first one like the that classic was, oh, yeah. that like every single one of that could have been, every single song on that could have been a single like that was like mm-hmm. like all of that and then um, like just all of that that kind of music like mm. and like, I suppose like I, I just like. I, I like all I can remember from like a young singing was like I was singing in the car with my like parents in the car or like playing like GameCube and like, and like having like having like random songs on and just singing yeah. along and I think that's how I learned how to like do like runs and stuff mm. okay. like because I, I could like you can do runs that's I for can, sure of course yeah, like you, that, but that's that's one like I don't I I, 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 I never did myself like learning that yeah like, I just did it like yeah. just, I can't remember ever being a time where I, like that is shocking it. I'm not gonna lie because your vocal ability the way you can kind of differentiate your your tones I, you would have thought that's someone who yep. you know practices it mm-hmm. has like singing lessons or whatever I mean I listen to music all the time so you could say I study it that way yeah. like I never just never had someone actually tell me you should do this with your voice because I think if I'd done that I think I wouldn't be the same mm. yeah I think it'd be very different so mm-hmm. you're all about you Yeah, kind of 100 Your style, yeah. you, you are you, you are Sam Tell me about that first experience when you started busking Tell me what song it was that you sang so Tell me about the reaction This is the, So this is it So I remember I sung I was But the, the first album that really Like I liked all the old R&B stuff But the first time like, I ever fully connected with something And like I remember it Like they always say like 
there's like this theory that says like when you're 16 your favorite album when you're 16 tends to be the one that carries forward for your whole life yeah and that's very true of me like and like although it's not my sound like the ed sheeran plus album like really like Incredible spoke to me album. and the fact that he came from a similar er- area in terms of like the countryside like mm-hmm. he wasn't from london but like london like took him in yeah mm-hmm. like, i felt like i want that and mm-hmm. i did and i have had that since mm-hmm. and um would yeah. you say that ed sheeran is an inspiration to you yeah in terms of, i think more like his branding is quite like i've never like with me like it's ne- i've never been one of those people that like like, I like fashion and stuff but like my appearance has never been something I've been completely secure about so when mm-hmm. I saw that someone like um, Ed Sheeran was like doing bits like and mm-hmm. he's like let's be honest like he's not like the most he clean cut look, person yeah, in the world true. is he no, like true. that just made me think like actually wait I can actually do something here like I don't have to be like this guy with a six pack to right. be doing so things you, know? you said that your sister introduced you to early R&B huh? now do you come from a musical family like does your par- parents sing does your sister sing so I got this I got this question like earlier actually from someone and uh um, no, like I didn't come from a musical family. Like my mum liked music, like like anyone likes music, mm. and I suppose like she her favorite album was is off the wall. Like she really likes that. Amazing. But like, Amazing. Um, I think she's listening now. So if you are, hello mum. <laughs> hey. um, Shout out mumsy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so like I so, like I come from a family of people who like music, who like love music, but like not so, not ever been a thing where like um, I don't know, like music's never been my like. I don't know, music's just been my thing, really. Yeah. And, like, it's taken a while, but, like, everyone seems to be b- back in it now, which is and cool. And talk to me about the transition into YouTube, where clearly this, you've definitely resonated with a lot of people. Yeah. So, for me, like, YouTube, like, I started... I actually, Well, I suppose the music journey starts a bit earlier than 16, because I, mm. I did... I posted a cut, like... I was about 15 when I posted my first, like, cover on... Yeah. On, and, um... And like at first, like people didn't really like it at school. Like I didn't like, pe- mm. like, hey. I'd, yeah, like I pe- people would be like, yeah, you've got a nice voice, but then they wouldn't, like, unless they were my really close friends. Yeah, like, uh, like uh, there'd be a bit of a, like, a, like not hatred, but like people just being like. Hating. Well, taking, that's what it taking, is. Hating. It's hating. Yeah. It's hating. Let's just say. Sam's too nice. Like, I'm just gonna say yeah, it's hating. Yeah, it's hating. Yeah, yeah it's like hating. I, d- I don't like. I don't know. Those those people seem to rate me a bit more now, but yeah, of I don't course they will. Of course, I'm not. <laughs> like, I've got I've got about five or six people from my whole time at school that I know there was a it was a big school like right like I'm still friends with, mm-hmm. but like they're like my day ones and they've been friends with me since year seven. So mm-hmm. like okay. everyone else can really go do one to me. Most <laughs> definitely, I want to talk like about the lyrical. I'm just going to say Lyrical Madness That we just heard Wife mm-hmm. You I want to talk uh, about Wife You I'm a big okay. advocate For wife in so. <laughs> the, pe- the pen is definitely When it comes Everyone to is. That's the thing too When it comes to Everyone that song Everyone is until, yeah. until they're in The relationship and Well like, anyway That's it. another topic But so Wife that. You Talk to me Sam where, where did it come from What's the inspo Who are you trying to work so for, she, Who are you trying yeah. So at the time I actually was in a relationship oh. um, I'm no longer With that person But mm. it is what it is mm. um, But um why if you came from a place where it's like you know when you're it's at that start bit yeah and I feel like girls a lot of the time have their back up because they might have been hurt or whatever like for me like it's at that, it's at that first that first initial point where you're like trying to take, say, say to them that you're serious and it's not and it's not like a load of rubbish like you're genuinely like being serious and you want them to realise like 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 I, w- I want to take this seriously and like from a young from a young age I've always been like quite mature like emotionally to be able to tell someone like I like them if I like them like, yeah. and like I've always been upfront about it and like that's what the song's really about okay and I've noticed even down to your you've got another song on SoundCloud called Two Years Later uh, yeah. even down to that song it's like you really are taking your own life and putting it in your music yeah is that something that you definitely feel like is a big part of you like emotionally you need to Go in from that type of angle. For me, like, uh, like for instance, two years later, like that song was really important because that was like celebrating the two-year anniversary of my long-term per- partner at the time. And that tune was like, that was like for me, like I'm not, I'm thoughtful in in the sense like I can do something like that, but like yeah. I can't really do like the whole present giving thing. I'm mm. not good like that, like. Mm-hmm. I know how to string a song together though and that's mm-hmm. how, how that ca- happened so it was like an anniversary present mm-hmm. but like for me like music and like songwriting and my life are, are like on complete are like complete it's a parallel thing like yeah. I, I couldn't live my life without being able to write about it mm-hmm. 
the same way I couldn't I couldn't like live my life without being able to write yeah do you see what I mean like mm-hmm. if that's I, some poetic justice there the honestly but I want to <laughs> You know, we, the thing is with you, Sam, you've got mm-hmm. a good brand going. So I was pre your Thank Twitter, you. I'm not going to lie. you got a good brand going. <laughs> you do. A Bristolian and to a bright. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, you've got a good following. I was going through Thank the you. TL, or even Miss Banks. She oh, showed you some love. What was I it she said? S- the, she said? The London I, JT. I love you, little JT. I remember that. Justin oh. Timberlake. And I, when I seen that, I thought, shout out to Miss Banks on that oh, one, because no. I, re- I can see the correlation. I, Your vocals, the way you sound, I mean, would you say you're a bit similar to to Justin Timberlake I was very very heavily inspired by Justin Timberlake yeah. I should have said that Legendary. earlier like Justified that album was very important to me mm-hmm. in my development like that 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 was album. very very yeah. yeah he's an incredible artist like mm-hmm. I feel like pe- people like aside pe- from the last album but let's yeah yeah let's not talk about that my, my thing with my thing with Justin Timberlake and I f- I didn't mind that filthy tune I thought that was quite cool oh like, my yeah. god I, I didn't mind that, that. like it's I was like so real like I thought that was cool like yeah but like I felt like I wanted more from, like his last album before that was it with 20 2020 um, or The Experience yeah that was yeah, a yeah, serious yeah. album that was a serious that's album that's the one with Suit and Tie on it with Jay-Z and Love Future Sex as well amazing that's probably my favourite I mean JT's just a legend and I just mm. think that Aside definitely when I can see I can see the yeah, kind I'm a of big, I'm a big big fan of uh, can you dance like JT oh bro oh, if I could man do you understand can we see <laughs> some <laughs> moves no <laughs> come on man no, 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 right, right. no, 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 we're on radio they can't see anything. Give, exactly. give us a little snippet of a JT song a JT song yeah uh, on that sunny day didn't know I'd me. Such a beautiful girl walking down the street. See those bright brown eyes with tears coming down. She deserves a crown, but where is it now? Mama, listen. Oh if you stop there, don't God. you dare stop there. How are you going to stop? God. I was ready to shack out. My heart is racing, I honestly. I felt I like just, I'd been serenaded. Bro, yeah. She just gave away a whole You're existence. <laughs> She's, well, that was amazing. That was, can we give DM'd it up? Well, can we give it up? I may slide in the DMs. I may not. Definitely. Who knows? <laughs> now, also, <laughs> you, you made him so much more out here. But it seems like the whole, a lot of the scene respects you and a lot of, you've got a lot of fans. Now, I want to say something that I'm big on. A project. When is pe- When can people really look at a Sam Tompkins project so, that is forthcoming? Right, so... Oh gosh, is he going to say something exclusive? Yeah, so it's the NRBS guys. Right, so I've been working on a project, uh, like a tape, for a little bit. Ooh. It's called the Fanboy t- Tape. Oh, it's what it's, that's what it's called at the moment, mm-hmm. and it's going to be, it's going to be like a seven track kind of thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, full of like it's R and B. So the my last project, like that came from a place where like. That was a, a build-up of a lot of music that had come from a long time and not being able to release music. Mm-hmm. Can't really go too much into that. Yeah. But um, now, like, it's more like it is full on, like Sam Tonkin. Full on this. It's the fanboy tape because it's it's like the first time I've released a project that it's the music that I would listen to mm-hmm. if I was in the car. Like, and it's actually it's come from it's coming from a place where it's like this working on this project has made me my own favorite artist. Amazing. Do you know what I mean? Is it is it all you on the project or are you collaborating with anyone? Oh, you're just gonna get all of these at this script. No, uh, you need some exclusives. It, we need one uh, name. At least. There's just one name. I can't. Well, we're working on. Is it a London artist or is it? It's a. There's there's two. So I will say Jamal Woon's on it. Oh, you just took away my next question, man. (laughs) I will say Jamal Woon is on it. Oh, exclusive. But there's there should be a a a big name on there, but we haven't worked that out yet. Well, we have kind of, but we're. I will look I also wanted to, to talk because I was I was going, scrolling through my um, Instagram the other day and I see something called Wound Wednesdays. Yeah, yeah. Like that was. I want to encourage anybody that hasn't heard it. Isaiah Dreads, oh. Sam Tompkins, Isaiah. and Jamal Woon. Now, tell me about you guys' relationship. It seems like you all are so, quite close, so and, this I, and is you it. are this all is three it. very talented people. This is talk the, to us. This is the. This is probably. This is the first time. W- We've spoken. I've spoken about this in public, yeah. but we've got a collective called DBZ. You, we're Whoa. getting, we're getting just exclusive. So do you, yeah. do you like what you just understand? said over there? Do you understand? Do you understand? Do you understand like, we're going to Isaiah Dreads, Tom, Sam Tompkins. There's more. Jamal there's more, but we can't. I'm not saying who yet. Well, what? there's more, but that's an exclusive. I was in RBS. I'm okay, telling you. Two I'm questions. telling you now. Like when we drop a, it's. 
There's two one questions, tune, yeah. Two questions. It's a hit. When did this collective start, and can I be a part of it? Oh Go. my gosh, she's... this collective started. <laughs> this collective, basically, me and Jamal. Uh, the story of me and Jamal is that uh, we met a couple years ago at some songwriting thing yeah. and like we connected quite well there but like we didn't like hang out at all after that and I'd say we re-met like mm. the start of this year and like I like you've met Jamal yeah like, of course you are, with me like Jamal I'd met known him for I'd known Jamal for about like four hours that day like we spent like about four five six hours together yeah. by the end of the day we were best friends I and like that's imagine. how it like, it seems like you're not just inseparable and me and Jamal like, like I love him to bits mm-hmm. man like Jam- Jamal is like a real one like mm-hmm. and Isaiah I've known for quite a while and then Isaiah knew Jamal kind of like they kind of knew and then we just kind of all got together one day and then at, by the end of the day like we were making cracking jokes we're like say let's do a collective and then we wrote a song just after my birthday yeah and that one's so hard like, I can't even say Can we hear, it after, can the, we hear, can we hear it? it after the show? Yeah yeah I'll play it to you after the show I'll oh, yeah. play it to you after the show I'm going to record it at the same time And just put it out No 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 I'm joking, no. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. It's not mixed down yet properly But yeah, yeah. it's a big one okay, I love that tune a lot good. So what, what's next for, for Sam Tonkin? So the next thing is Finishing off this tape Having Amazing. it out hopefully Hopefully in the next couple of months Yeah um, Also just kind of Working on myself uh, I want to I want to go to America And And, and, t- and Take over there Definitely. as well. Like he's ready to shut down America. Because for, for, for me, like you heard for it me, here like, first. The cons- I feel like UK just doesn't consume R and B music the way 100%. it should. But I'd like to be one of those people that I I feel like me Jamal mm-hmm. and a couple of other people I know. I feel like we we might be the difference between. And it's done well with you guys. I feel like it's actually there as well. I feel like mm-hmm. the UK is finally kind of ready to t- consume it. Definitely. But they just don't know it yet. But yeah. like slowly R&B, and pop, R&B is becoming more popular. And, yeah. I, and I really like that. Like, like I'd, I don't know if you'd say it, but like people like, well, Georgia Smith is R&B to me. Like I think she's got Agreed. a lot of R&B. I really, really, really like Ray Black and also Ray. Like Ray's one of my favourite mm-hmm. artists yeah. in the country Ray's right now. Like, she's well. so mm-hmm. sick. Like, mm-hmm. And I feel like that's kind of borderline. Mm-hmm. And I feel like and like Mahalia and like yeah all Mahalia of, for like, sure LMA LMA for me for me front with, runner for me le, for me Next LMA question. technically is the front runner but yeah. I feel like we can't claim her now why why do you say I that I feel like because we just didn't claim her for the whole time we should have claimed agree. her for the actually sense. being said I've yeah. seen it on the TL that yeah. Americans have been given the yeah. recognition shame and on us did, UK she, yeah. Yeah. shame that's what I'm on saying. us like, I feel like we, we we wouldn't be doing us like we wouldn't be doing our justice if we tried claiming her now like we will claim her mm-hmm. but like it doesn't feel right to me I've known Ella for, 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 I've known of Ella for a long time because she was in a girl group before yeah. okay. and um, like she's lovely and like she deserves everything but like mm-hmm. I feel like for me like I feel like she's a UK artist that we just didn't appreciate 100% yeah. and also I definitely feel like Sam Tompkins right in front of us right now LD and RBS have a knack of bringing people on here and literally just it's just we, we got people yeah. early like we know before it really goes bang literally and this is gonna happen Sam Tompkins I'm right in front of him right now I know it's gonna happen this is a fact. it's got to and I mean even the busking video and I don't want UK okay. to be a part of this whole element where we forget we, our own stars yeah. and let them go pop somewhere else that's so it. you heard it here first exactly. LDN RBS Appreciate Sam Tompkins Thank While you. he's here and we can't Because li- if he goes to the US He may never come back it, He might not just He, yeah, he might just back. stay over there <laughs> He may never but come back There's no way we can let Sam go Without no one more yeah, serenading of people vote, that we know, you can go with any song you want. Nah, you know which one I'm gonna go for. I might just, I don't know, she might fall off her go chair. I might. Listen, okay. so I'm just gonna stop talking, guys. You don't even want me to talk anymore. Right. Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kicked it. By the way, I just got in town But I won't let cumulus clouds all in the sky Ruin my vibe Usually I don't do this often But since we're cooling isn't an option Due to unusual rain and thunder Baby, I wonder, baby, I wonder, would ya? Uh, take your sweats off, put your sweats on for me, hey, yeah. I got the clut, I make the coffee green, ooh. I'm talking late night, boy, let me lay a great time on ya. Don't make me wait, now, don't ya? 
just say you will. Vocal oh, gymnastics. Oh my God. Sam Tompkins, guys. Honestly. I can't. I can't. I'm lost for words. <laughs> legend before he's a legend. I'm legend. telling you, Sam Tompkins. Let's give him a clap out here as a good time. interview. Thank you so much. Anytime, coming, when you've dropped that project, you gotta come back. You my have home. to. And if you, you don't, I'll take it personally. L D N R B S. You heard it here Should first. I say who we got here next week? Should no, we, first, first people. Now you've heard it. You've heard it here yeah, first. Yeah. What are the socials? Make sure you yeah, go check him out, him. Sam. So my socials are uh, Sam Tompkins UK. That's Sam T O M P K I N S UK. That's on everything. So just follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Facebook, all of that. Amazing. And if you don't, what's if wrong you with you? Yeah, exactly. What's wrong to with say you? the least. <laughs> I can't, I'm lost for you. words after that. I'm it's not going to lie. I it's feel like I'm talent. in. I'm in the what's it called? Tunnel La La vision. Land. The different zone. What's it? The I have zone? no idea. I don't I'm know what the phrases it's are. Right. Yeah. It's like a Bristol thing. I know. It's, I listen, tell. I'm not going to stand <laughs> for this. Big up Bristol if you're tuning. Big up Bristol, man. But L D N R B S will be back. I'm not going to say who we got next. No, we'll keep it surprise. I want to. Let us know what you thought of the show as well. We want to hear from you people. That was two freestyles, you know? Yeah. We're always coming back with something different, you guys. Make sure you're at LDNRBS and make sure you go and subscribe and follow the YouTube channel. Yes. You will see it first. Sam Tompkins, thank you for being here. No, thank you for having me. Thank you. Surface featuring A2. That was a little clip. That was a little clue there. But anyway, LDNRBS next week. Let's get into it.